attachments to asset tracking include the ability to define if asset scanning can be performed by asset tag number, serial ID, or both. If the option to scan by either asset tag number or serial ID is selected, then you'll be able to toggle between asset tag and serial ID options on the physical inventory pages. If scanning by tag number is enabled, organizations can opt to enable the mask scanned tag number functionality added to the physical inventory, scan by location, and scan asset tiles in the asset tracking solution. This completes the asset tracking enhancements demonstration. To optimize business process efficiencies, the interface components have been standardized to not only provide a consistent user experience, but also consolidated to update, enable visibility to, and approval of both financial and physical interface details from a single component. A new business unit option allows organizations to control whether interface transactions originating from payables, purchasing, or project costing are auto-approved. This completes our demonstration of the Interface Component Standardization feature. Mass Transaction Manager has been extended to provide the option to preview the asset data to be updated and mass prior to running the Mass Transaction Manager application engine. You can preview the number of assets impacted by the update and mass as well as the interface rows and any prerequisites for the transaction selected. This completes our demonstration of the Asset Transaction Manager Extensions feature. Partial Year Measurement and Recognition of Asset Retirement Obligations and the Associated Asset Retirement Cost provides more flexible administration of the depreciation of the asset retirement cost. Users are also allowed to choose if they would prefer the asset retirement cost amount to have the remaining life in periods of the parent asset instead of the whole life. This completes the Asset Retirement Obligations Enhancement demonstration. Customers that require communication of award notifications will be able to take advantage of a new notification called Notice of Intent to Award, or NOIA, in strategic sourcing. When a decision is made to award an event, before signing the contract, bidders must be informed in writing stating an award is forthcoming. This process of communication from a company to the bidders is known as NOIA. When an event is ready to be awarded to the bidders, a Notice of Award, or NOA, is sent to the winning bidders. This notification often includes an assortment of legal verbiage. This process of communication from a company to the winning bidders that they are being awarded goods and services is known as NOA. In this demonstration, we will review the NOIA and NOA notifications used for sourcing events in strategic sourcing. To send NOIA and NOA for a sourcing event, you must first select the group box options for NOIA and NOA at the BU level. You can change these settings at the event header level. Use the Notice of Intent to Award page to view and send NOIA notifications to bidders. This notification is sent to a list of bidders about a forthcoming award. You have the ability to control to whom and when the NOIA is sent, select and add recipients to receive the notification, additional recipients could include internal or external users, preview and alter the content, select alternate templates to fit the event, display content in summary or detail, select signatures to be included, enter comments, and add attachments. Use the Notice of Award page to view and send NOA notification to bidders. This notification is sent to winning bidders, informing them that the event is awarded. You have the ability to control when to send the NOA, preview and alter the content, select award and non-award templates to fit the event, select signatures to be included, enter comments, and add attachments.
This completes our demonstration of the Strategic Sourcing Notice of Award and Notice of Intent to Award feature. PeopleSoft General Ledger and Accounts Payable provide a feature that enables Accounts Payable users to initiate advance payments into the PeopleSoft system by entering essential amortization information. On the basis of these details, the PeopleSoft financial system creates amortization schedules, which results not only in reducing the manual creation of journal entries to amortize advance payments, but also in reducing the balance of the prepaid account. Expense amortization also provides the ability to create stage journals that can be reviewed and edited before the actual journals are created. This completes the amortization of expenses feature demonstration. Additional FSCM PI-19 features include Stateful CI and Pro Number Field Expansion. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, release notes on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.